So where is the train then? What platform? Platform 7. Uh, platform 7. Hello. Well, we've come to London Bridge because we are visiting a friend in Welling in South East London. Now, we've never been there before and he's only just moved. So this is going to be a new experience for us and we thought that we would take you along with us for the ride. So let's get going. Let's go. We've just come out of the station at Welling and we're walking down station approach and I believe this comes onto the High Street. Lots of places to eat, steakhouse. Papa John's pizza. Oh, I see a co-op coming up. Oh, that's lovely. good because although we live sort of relatively near one, it's a tube ride away, and I get offers uh, to get money off. So it's not worth just going for the ride um, to get the, the money off because you spend it on the tube. But as there's one coming up, we may as Why well not? take a look and see if we can uh, use our vouchers. Well, maybe it should be spec savers I should be going to rather than co-op. This is. <laughs> This is the funeral care one. Um, maybe I won't be using my vouchers in there today. Very, very interesting shops are about. There is a subway and yeah, it seems like any typical um, high street, I suppose. So I guess this is like a typical high street in Southeast London. It's a part of the city that I'm not overly familiar with, I have to admit. one of uh, Putin's old cannon <laughs> has, has arrived here. Um, anyway, that's it from Welling. We're off to see our friend now. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching our show today. If you like what you see, then please like, comment, and subscribe. Keep watching. Pancakes for breakfast is always a bit of a treat. Now, of course, you can buy them in the shop, but isn't it so much better if you could make them? And I have found a very simple recipe to make pancakes in minutes. So all you need is a packet of classic pancake mix. I'm using this one from McDougal's. I just loved the name McDougal. Uh, one large egg and 420 ml of water. So what we do first of all is we crack our our egg into a large mixing bowl like so. We add the water and then we get our mixer or our whisk and we whisk it together until it combines. Now I've never done pancakes like this before. I've always made them out of a, just like flour and, and, and water and that's always seemed to have worked but um, this is going to be a little bit more special 
And of course the thing is with pancakes, they are so versatile as well. You can have them of course, for breakfast like we're doing, or at any time of day as a special treat. And when it comes to the fillings or the toppings, well, the, the variety is endless really, isn't it? Okay, so that is combined. Now we'll open up our little mix. It comes in a lovely little packet like this. And this is when it all goes, yes, <laughs> all over the place. And a bit of a, a whiff. We pour that in to the bowl. Get all of it in. Now you could use an electric whisk if you want, but I'm going old school. Well, I like my little pink one, so... <laughs> so we whisk away now until this becomes a smooth batter. You don't want lumpy pancakes. Um, I've always seemed to end up with lumps before, and I think it's, it's all in the whisking method, and you just don't want to give up doing it. So you keep going until if there are any little lumps or any little bits and pieces of the uh, the mix still still not sort of combined with the water and the egg, then you keep on going. Well, I think that's just about right. So now it's time to go and get cooking. Right, over at the cooker now. So we have our pancake mix on the side and I've got a frying pan and a saucepan. So what we want to do first of all is um, for us, we're going to have these lovely summer fruits over our pancakes. And I thought it'd be a good idea to heat it up. So we have a saucepan sitting here. Let's pour all that straight in there and turn it on. It's on the lowest of the, the smallest of the rings. And we want this just on the lowest possible heat we can do. And that's just going to sit there and simmer while we do the pancakes. So here we have our pan. Get this on, and we want a kind of a medium heat. So something like this. And our oil. So we've got a nice, generous amount of oil on the pan. And we'll keep it handy because there's going to be quite a few pancakes coming out of this mix. Ooh, this is exciting. Now to flip our pancakes, I'm going to be using our new fish slice, which has got holes in it, which is good because it lets any excess oil drip away. And we got this the other day because the one that we had um, suddenly snapped in my hand. Um, I, what sort of material is, is this, Paul? Is it? I think it's silicon. Oh, right. Okay. Because I think it's resistant to heat. Right, but still not resistant to breakages, it would seem. Uh, okay, well we'll hope this one stays the course. So, the oil is... Do you need more oil? I think that should be okay. I don't think you want to over-oil it. But I think you should oil it after each one. Oh, after each one. That's why we have it on, on the side. Now, to make things easier on myself, um, I've got a ladle here. Because you could just, like, spoon this in, <laughs> or you could pour it in. But uh, it could be rather messy. So here we go, I've got a ladle, and one ladle's worth, I would reckon, is one pancake. And we want them to be fairly thin. And of course the thing is, when you've got the chance to make so many, if there is a mistake along the way, you ruin one. It's not a disaster because you can try again. So you can see it's starting to cook around the edges. Now you want to cook each one for about one or two minutes over a medium heat, as I said, until they're golden brown on the underside. And you turn over and cook the other side for a further minute. I'm the sort of person that if I'm baking, I keep wanting to open the oven door. So when I'm frying, I keep wanting to like look at the underside. <clears throat> but I'll just have a swig of coffee while I wait for this to cook. Well, the good thing is it's moving around in the pan, so that means that I've got about the right amount of oil and it's not sticking. Let's have a little look now. Yeah, I think that's ready to turn. So it's 
I'm sort of golden brown around the edges. It's, bub it's bubbling up a little bit. Is this one of these pancakes that's turning into a shape? Because if you come round this side, Paul, look, it's, it's turning into a face. <laughs> it looks like a cat. There's like two eyes there. Two little ears at the top. What do you think? Okay. So we've got our fruit on the side simmering away and that will just stay there on the heat until we've made all our pancakes. Do you need to add anything to this? Nope, nothing at all. You could have a little bit of sugar in it, but we're gonna add sugar to the pancakes at the end. Right, I think we will just turn it over just so as you can see what it looks like. Oh look, it's actually turned into a, it looks like a proper pancake. This is how it should be looking, you know? That's, this is how it looks like. <laughs> Okay, well we don't want to overdo them. So I've got this rather lovely large plate here because we're going to put them all onto this before we serve them at the end. So here's the first one going on. So come back in a few seconds and we will have a full plate of pancakes. Wow, well I think we did pretty well because we got nine pancakes out of that and what we ended up doing to save a bit of time, we got two pans on the go so we were like double dealing. Right, now it's time to tuck in. Wow, look at this, look at this. They're not all for me. So you can of course choose which pancake you want. Um, I'm just gonna start off with the one on the top. It was the last one done. It'll be the one with most heat. Ha <laughs> ha! And we will get a little bit of sugar on it, like this. As much or as little as you want. Do you like our little sticks of sugar? <laughs> and here is our fruit. Now I've drained it because you don't want it to just like going all over the place. It can be rather messy. And of course, you can put it on whatever way you like. You can spread it all over and then you can fold the pancake or you can just eat it straight like this. And as you know, I'm a very messy eater, so I'm going to try to make it even more messy um, <laughs> by rolling it all up like this. Look at that. Ooh, yes. Zoom in on that, Paul. And you know something? That is just calling out for a little bit of sugar on the top. Or even a lot. Right, here we go. Are you zooming in, Paul? I'm gonna cut right in the middle. Look at that. Ooh, yes. Cut it into four. And of course, you know that I can't use a knife and fork properly. <laughs> well, it's just my little thing, isn't it? Right, here is the moment of truth. Zoom in on me, Paul. Mmm. Mmm, it's a mixture. I was gonna say sweet and sour. Um, because <laughs> the, the fruit actually might need a little bit more sugar on it. The, the, the fruit is a little bit on the, on the sort of the bitter side, I have to say. Ah, mmm. But the sugar is enhancing it. The pancake is nice and smooth. And of course, it's up to you what kind of filling you want in it. You could put chocolate spread, you could have marmalade. I'll tell you what, bacon and um, syrup, maple syrup. Oh, yes. What about honey? Or honey. Mmm. Mmm. Well, I think I'm going to eat all of these. <laughs> okay, time for you to tuck in. Perfect for breakfast. Delicious. Look, the plate's empty. <laughs> Not for long. Hmm. I'm gonna go for this one next. 